Welcome. Today, I have to rescue a fish. So, I'm Bobby G. Let's talk. What you'll find when you have uh, multiple, multiple tanks, I mean, uh, certainly there's people with more tanks than I do, but uh, I currently have 32 tanks. And uh, generally, um, I mean, not always, but but generally, uh, there's, there's something that needs to be done in the fish room uh, that you weren't really planning on. So uh, let's have a look at who needs to be rescued. If we just head down here to the bottom row, uh, I just set this tank up recently, uh, maybe within the last two weeks, and I put some, uh, a pair of marble convict cichlids, my super reds, um, it's time for them to breed again, so I thought I would, uh, you know, put this together for them. Uh, they've spawned once in this uh, tree trunk before, although, uh, you know, with today's experience, I'm not sure that I'll use it again. Um, so as you can see, uh, you know, I could only find him. She's not hiding behind a sponge filter. Uh, these guys are both fairly large. Uh, the male might be a you know a touch larger than the female. He'd be about five inches, whereas she's about uh, f probably four and a half inches. Uh, the rest of my females are around three inches. So you know I really want to spawn these two. I these two haven't spawned for me before, and uh, I'm hopeful that that we'll get a chance to spawn them. Now I'm going to show you here or try to show you, uh, usually she's up near the top of, of this uh, tree trunk and roots, um, but I'm certain that you can't see her, but she's actually uh, down in one of those legs, uh, face first, of course, and from what I can see, she can't come, come through backwards uh, to get out of it. So she's stuck down this part, down to about this point. In uh, having a look at the bottom of this, uh, you'll see there's holes at various spots in the bottom. I need to go in about this point here. Um, so I'm going to uh, start with the screwdriver. I'll uh, just grab it here. Um, I'll just stick it in that hole ever so slightly and I'll see how strong this material is. Uh, I'm going to try to break away little pieces. Uh, I'm, I am able to break off little pieces here. I'm not sure. I think you can probably see them uh, floating down. And I'll just keep working away at it. It's you know fairly strong material, but obviously it can be broken. Um, it may have been best to have a pair of vice grips handy or a pair of pliers, but uh, we'll see. Maybe the Maybe if I grab this hammer, I can get the claw in there safely. Uh, it won't fit that way. And uh, let's give it a try, make sure I've tried everything with it. Uh, it, won't, it won't even fit in the hole at this point. So uh, let's give the, the screwdriver a little bit more work. Um, I'm just going to pull up here and see if I can break off a piece there kind of work at it slowly but oh that was a good piece um, I'm starting to be able to see her in there again I don't think you'll be able to see her because it's too dark but uh, I think she's got a smile right now so I uh, I think at this point I'm gonna just prop this up here uh, try to get it so it doesn't fall and I'm gonna go run and grab a pair of ice grips I'm uh, back with them now. Uh, all these tools have been, you know, thoroughly washed and they're not greasy or, or dirty. So that's why I'm putting them straight in the water. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the tool that we need because I can go in there like this and just uh, break off chunks until uh, I feel that it gets big enough. You know, I, I'm looking at it here. Uh, I don't think it's quite big enough. I'm also worried about any uh, jagged or uh, sharp edges that that she'll have to 
uh, come through. So I'm just going to keep breaking off little pieces until I feel like it's fairly safe for her to come out. Um, there's there's one up here, a bit of a, a pointed edge, and uh, I'll try to make it a little bit bigger up over here. Uh, it's getting close. I think uh, you know maybe you'll be able to start seeing her soon. Um, I think that should be big enough right there. So let's just see if she comes out. She was upside down. Come on, come on. There we go. A successful mission. Uh, she looks happy. Uh, he's looking pretty happy too. Uh, I'm not sure if he's greeting her or if he's uh, just reminding her who's boss. Uh, but I love to see their interaction. It's just awesome. Uh, awesome to give her freedom again. So uh, the next step for me here is uh, I'm going to have to obviously clean out all these broken bits and pieces. Um, I may try, you know, a little bit with a net, uh, but ultimately I think the uh, the Python uh, water changer is is going to be the the tool to use. The uh, majority of the cleanup's been done now with a couple nets, and now I'm going to use my Python here. Uh, this is a, a tool that I made up uh, with a barbed fitting and a, a coupling and then uh, a piece of PVC pipe that's uh, got heat shrink on it uh, to a three quarter inch uh, clear uh, tubing or pipe I suppose um, and I really like it because it's you know I can target my uh, where I want the suction to be. It's it's more suction than if I was to use the normal one that comes uh, with the pythons, which I think there are maybe a, a two inch. And uh, this allows me to go into tanks uh, without stirring up the bottom and and just collecting things, uh, you know, carefully. Obviously, I, you know, when I use this in other tanks, um, especially fry tanks, I'm, I'm very cautious about not to uh, not sucking any up. So this is a great tool, works great. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for uh, it, or in terms of rescaping this. I do have you know quite a few rocks and and decorations uh, that I could put in. So uh, just as soon as I finish this up, I'm going to go grab some stuff and we'll have a look at it. So uh, stay tuned to see the final project. And this is what I've come up with. Uh, uh, there's a two and a half inch uh, PVC uh, Y in there, which is plenty big enough for one or both of them even. And uh, a nice rock on the other side to, to sit a piece of slate on top. And uh, a couple uh, fake plants. Uh, so I'm just gonna continue uh, refilling the tank and I'll put the lids on and then we'll uh, I'll summarize the video and and uh, show you how they're doing and here they are the next day uh, interacting with each other still uh, they're getting along great uh, I noticed she hasn't regained you know all of her color back um, she's she's a very beautiful fish and that's why I've selected her and hopes to breed her um, she did come out of uh, this tank here and uh, these females that you see here uh, you know are a better representation of what coloration uh, she has so uh, anyway thanks for joining me in this video uh, I hope that you've uh, you've liked what you've seen please comment like share and of course subscribe if you haven't already Feed your passion. Take the plunge.